her little dog. He'll show you where it is, then look someplace else while you turn the key. Yeah, like Bobby already. Sure. Then in there is this other guy, Lucas Bertone. You take the car to him down under the Giuliano Bridge. He'll, you know, tune it a little. Make the race tomorrow more, more, more interesting. Then I take the car straight back, and Bobby can stop looking someplace else. But you gotta be quick. B Bobby comes off shift at 1.30, and then and, and, and the next guy, he's an ass. Oh, hey, hey, if you need somewhere to keep your m -m motor safe where no one can take them, feel free to use the garage. Carlo finally got around to clearing it out. Thanks. Good to know. You Bobby. Yep. We can take your car to the garage. Place is empty. Any friend of Ralphie's a friend of mine. I mean, if you got the money, sure. <sighs> Tomorrow morning they start coming. Whole city. They smuggle in hooch. There's fighting. I hate it. Ah, come on. Name a better place to pick up a dame than this place this weekend. Don't get me started. Things I've seen. Okay, this is it. Here she is. 1929 Carazella C Series. Best in class. It's a shame you gotta wreck it. If they see this down the road, cops are gonna ask questions. When they catch up, sure. Try to keep it in one piece, too, huh? So, I gotta be back from Breton by 1.30 before the next guy shift. Yeah, he's an ass. I heard.
Tommy Angelo. Lucas Bertoni. Oh, ain't she a thing of beauty? We don't have much time. Hey, I'm a fast worker. Sit tight. Hello, you. Okay, she's done. Thanks, Lucas. I gotta get back before anyone catches on. Go easy with her. She's gonna misbehave. Hey, tell Mr. Salieri. I'm always available for this kind of work. I do stuff for a lot of people, but I always know where I stand with you guys. Hot cars, getaways, anything for the right price. Let's just hope Celieri's guy wins tomorrow. For all our sakes. Okay, drive careful. Christ. Good to go. Drives like a jalopy. Okay, let's get out of here. Big day tomorrow. So Sam walks out of the bathroom, and I'm praying got a piece on it, because I'm not sure the bartender's gonna hand over what he owes. And his two sons, they're inching closer. I can hear them cracking their knuckles. They're both seven feet tall, built like brick shit houses. What were you carrying? My dick. 
<laughs> That's right. This crazy bastard, he waltzes out of the bathroom, just starts pissing all over the joint. <laughs> really? What, he didn't call the cops? Ah, sometimes you just gotta make them think you're crazy. <laughs> Tom, you got the moment. Oh. Sure, Frank. You've got a bit of a situation. Is the boss okay? Oh, yeah, it's nothing like that. Mikey Dunn, our driver. Some of Morello's guys roughed him up pretty good last night. Broke his arm, broke his jaw. Sent him to the hospital. Jesus. Yeah, tough locker for Mikey. Anyway, you're going to race for him. Wait, what? Frank, Tom, I don't know. There's a half hour before the starting gun goes off, so this is not a discussion. The Don wants to win. But more importantly, he wants Morello to lose. And you are our best wheelman. Otherwise, I'd be talking to someone else. Yeah. Okay, Frank. Good. Rafi has the car gassed and ready. Get to the track right away. From Europe, we got the hotshot favorite, Martin Lichtenberg, taking some time out of the International Series to compete with us today. Got some news from the grid here. Lost Heaven local favorite Mikey Dunn is out. Replacing him is uh, Tommy Angelo. Well, I'm sure you'll all join me in wishing him good luck. They're lined up on the grid. They're ready to start. They're off. Lichtenberg's in trouble. There's something up with this car. Lichtenberg is out. The favorite is out. Who's going to survive the lost Lichtenberg? Shit, you asshole! They're bunching up, and I see the collision.
Tommy! There's <laughs> our winner! Hey, Tom. Just want to thank you for stepping in like you did. I had six months rent riding on that race. I'd be homeless now if not for you. I just did what the Don asked, Lucas. Well, you gotta let me find a way to repay you. Just stop by my garage when you get a chance. I might have a line on something that'll turn a buck for you. Sure. Thanks. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Tom. You ain't us all a lot of money today. Emerald's gonna be picking up pennies off the sidewalk for weeks. <laughs> hey, what about the European? He's probably wearing cement boots by now, the poor bastard. Ooh. Here. You earned every dollar of this. Take your girl out somewhere nice. Thanks, boss. Up, boys. You got a girl, right? I don't want you blowing all that on booze and horse. Huh? Nah, but uh. Maybe I'll buy my mom a new coat. <laughs> Good boy. Go get yourself a drink. Congratulations, big hero. Nah, I just got luckies off. Well, I had my money on the other guys, so... Drinks are on you. Oh. <laughs> there. Now you're ready for the pictures. Thanks. And hey, when you're done celebrating, you might want to go find your buddy, Polly. He's so drunk, he's going to get hit by a parked car. Yeah, okay. I'll get him home safe. Yo, mama made that look easy to Tommy. When they started racing here 20 years ago, most guys did, did, didn't even make the finish. Ah, magic's in the motor, Ralph. I just showed him where to go. Hey, you seen Paulie? No, no. He said he was uh, uh, hungry or something. Okay. You enjoy yourself. <laughs> that win just put my daughter through another year of school, Tom. Hey, anything for the Colettis. Well, enjoy the moment. But the deal with Polly before he embarrasses himself and the family. I will not let the boss's day end this summer, You don't have to worry, Frank. I'll find it. Great race, champ. That's all for another year, folks. Track will be open until 6. Please leave when requested. Great run, Tommy! 
great race, Jack. Hey! Last time I saw you drive like that, Tom, I had a gun to your head. You saying there wasn't one today? <laughs> when our side of town is drowning in dough, that means you're safe. Hey, you seen Polly? Guy's soused. Came through walking sideways. Yeah, I heard. guy's gonna send the cops over. Yeah, I think Polly's big day at the track's over. Cow says moo, and the chicken says quack. What does the bird say? I don't know, but the security guy back there says you gotta go home. That's an asshole. You should show some respect! Well, that's true, but I'm saying you gotta go home, too, before you resurface the pit lane. Well, okay, then. I guess. Well, let's go, Jim. <laughs> Good today, Tommy, with the, the driving. I was right. I was right when I found you. You know what I said? What did you say, Polly? I said this guy can drive, Don Salieri. This is a guy who can drive. And here we are. Here we are. Right here. That's where we are. You put me to shame, Tom. Look at you. Now you're even a some kind of race car driver. We all got a. You're doing real good since you joined the family, but you know you got it easy, right? <laughs> Me and Sam, we keep the real stuff from you. That right, huh? You don't know what it's like. You get the call to see the dawn and your minds race. Then some bad shit, Tom. We're all in this together. I do what the Don asks when he asks it. Just like you. You're like me, you can't just shut it down. Blank it out like Sam does. Go home to... Whoever the hell he goes home to. Polly, you're drunk. You're gonna have to clam up for your own sakes. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Um, I want to go with the lady. Uh, I'm not helping you with that today. Take me to the ladies. Take me to the Blue Tropics. I don't know. I ought to take you home. The bridge. Take the bridge over to the island. Take me to the ladies. Take me to those sweet patooties. I don't know. Taking you home seems more classy. Ah, uh, home? Brought me home. Maybe, maybe that's, yeah, a good idea. Yeah, well, okay, I'm gonna. Sweet dreams, tough guy. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I, I don't feel so good. That's the call, Tom. You want anything else? Nah, I'm heading home. Hey, Tom, uh, before you go, uh, I ask maybe a small favor, huh? Sure, Luigi, what do you need? Walk in my daughter room. 
Sarah, the way I hear it, she doesn't need any kind of escort. <laughs> she's, uh, she's a tough. There's this uh, pack of boys near her place. Uh, the punks, you know, cativiragazi. They talk blue, make advances. Sarah, she gonna speak at the mind. Or maybe she says a somber thing they don't like. Things that get ugly. But if you're working at home, this is a reminder this punk she's the dawn's a goddaughter. No problem, Luigi. I'd be honest. <laughs> Benny. Sarah, the time is close. What's this then? Uh, Tom is. Uh, Tom's gonna take you. All right. Hey, I just work here. Make sure nobody bother you. Fine. If it'll make you feel better, Pop. Hey. I'll see you tomorrow. Let me get my coat. I'll wait for you outside. You okay? I don't need anyone walking me home. Hey, we were talking about meeting up tonight anyway. Hey, guys. And you can quit worrying about what he's gonna think. Not the point, Tom. He treats me like a kid sometimes. Hey, I get it. He's protective. He's seen things. We've all seen things. You know, we gotta talk about you stealing food. Hey, I cook it, so I get to say where it goes. Well, he won't thank you. Well, maybe tomorrow's finally gonna be the day he fixes his own breakfast. Could you knock on the door? Only got so many hands here. That for me? Yeah, though it's not as much as last time. It's enough. Nona thinks you're an angel. The Dawn hates seeing food go to waste. And this? This has got to be Tammy. Sarah told us all about you. That right. You're a famous race driver, Tom. Everyone talks about you. Yeah, she's right. They do. Well, anyways, don't let the cold in, Juliet. I'll see you at church. All right. Have a great evening. Night. Buena noche, Tommy. Hey, Mama. Your angel Sarah brought more food. It's nice you do that. That? Well, a lot of hungry people on this block. Yeah. Well. It's, um, uh, it's a good night for a walk, anyway. Don't get yourself killed on my account, Tom. I try to avoid it. That's all you got? You spend all this time with a lady killer like Sam Trapani, and the best line you got is, good night for a walk anyways? <laughs> well, it is, ain't it? Yeah, I guess so. Flowers for the lady, signore? Nah, we're good. Now I don't get flowers? When you let me take you on a real date and not some walk home for Luigi, then you get the flowers. Eh, yeah, that could happen. If Pop's not gonna stop me seeing one of you, I think he knows anyway. Luigi? Nah. These guys have been creeps to me for weeks. But I didn't tell you as I know what you like. I mentioned it to Dad this one time, and all of a sudden he gets you to be my knight in shining armor. So yeah, he knows. Huh. Well, like I say, means there's no problem with me. If he did, you wouldn't last long. I know what happened to all the other guys I dated. I helped hide the bodies. Uh, so now we are... I've been trying to keep you safe, Tommy Angelo. All this time. Hey, let's go someplace. Tomorrow night, maybe. The pictures, maybe. 
You can get your flowers. That'd be good. Oh! Hey there, darling! Are you stepping out on us? Piss off. <laughs> Don't cast the kitten, doll face. We'll let your boyfriend watch. What do you say? We going to have trouble here. Trouble started back when you tried to steal our girl, Chief. You saps aren't careful. You'll end up in wooden overcoats. <laughs> Last chance to walk away. We ain't frails. We know who you work for. Salieri might have been the big six when he was younger, but he's all washed up now. Mm -hmm. It's only a matter of time before Morello punches his ticket. <laughs> I don't need Salieri. Or anyone else. Not for this. <laughs> well... <laughs> Then let's see what you got, cake eater. Mm. Where you going there, sweet cheeks? <laughs> Back off! Billy Trey. Hey! Uh, 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 Twist like you's wasted on that grease. Let's see how the light. Have to be in your day. You're wasting your time with a deadbeat like that. You need a real guy. I'm not the kind of game you uh, 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 pal. Who's he thinking it? Get him from there. Tommy. My turn now. Hope you're better than your friends. Good right hook, I'll give you that. You're bleeding. Come up to my place, I'll take a look. Well, you gonna come in and take a load off, or what? I was wondering when you'd invite me up. The bank's closed, Slugger. I'm just gonna patch you up is all. Now go sit down on the couch, roll up your sleeve. I'm getting my sewing kit. Doesn't look too bad. You need something for the pain? I know, I'm fine. You don't have to do that. What? I can see it fucking hurts, Tom. You wanna pretend it don't go ask Polly to staple you up. What do you get? Compliments of the Don. Take another. All right. You gonna grin and bear this? Yeah, I'll be okay. Good. I don't need the little old lady next door complaining at the super about all the racket. Just be quick about it, will ya? It's gonna take as long as it takes. The sloppier the stitch, the uglier the scar. That right. You stitched up a lot of fellas. Just my father. 
Ma would really go after Luigi sometimes. He got pretty good at ducking dinner plates. So one day she stabbed him with her knitting needle. Right through the hand. What for? Because she was an ugly, jealous drunk. There. Not my best work, but it'll hold. The scar would be something to remember you by, if nothing else. <laughs> You're staying over. Can't have you stumbling through the neighborhood pie-eyed. Not when them hoods are out looking for you anyways. Yeah, okay.